we thank you today for it's a new day to have an opportunity to speak about you. While you're sitting on the right hand side of the Father, looking down at your creation, as your paracletes, the Holy Ghost invokes righteousness. God, I'm asking that you would forgive us our sins from the east, the west, the north, and the south so that we can worship you in spirit and in truth. God, we recognize that you are the king of glory. We ask that you enter in. There's nothing too hard for God. Is it anything too hard for God? He spoke to Abraham and Sarah and said your descendants would be more numerous than the sand on the sea shore. God told him your descendants. God is speaking again in the earth and he's saying, I'm getting ready to give you a miracle. I want you to soak in me. I want you to soak in me. God is getting ready to set up a miracle for those who are waiting upon him, waiting upon his waters. He wants to develop sanctification out of you. He wants to take away the old dross and put in a new heart. He wants to put in a new heart. He says, I'm putting in a new heart. A new heart. Ezekiel 37 talks about a new heart. He wants to take out that stony heart. There's a battle going on in the spirit against the spirit and the flesh. And God says, God is asking us, can those dry bones live? I hear God saying, do you want to live? I hear God saying, I need a man or a woman and even a child someone that would speak to the bones so that they can live. I hear God speaking. He wants to deliver some of us, but he wants you to breathe back on yourself. He says, breathe. He says, breathe upon my waters. God wants to change your circumstances. God wants to help you. Hallelujah. The I am is speaking right now. He is in the realm of the spirit. He's not ever in the flesh. He's not a man that he should lie or a son of man that he should repent.
2, verse 28. And it should come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Verse 29. And also on my maid servants, my men servants, and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned in the darkness and the moon in the blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord, that whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved by the Spirit of Christ. Spirit. 